friends welcome back to my channel um, if you have watched the vlog for today you know that I have on the same outfit I am currently headed to our wedding venue to do a final walkthrough with our wedding planner um, and then do a few other things wedding wise but this video is going to be talking about some mistakes and tips from our bathroom renovation um, the cost all those things will be included in this video so if you are interested please stay tuned um, so first things first, if you have not watched our bathroom renovation video, I'm going to link it up here somewhere in the iCard so you can check it out. Um, we did a full bathroom renovation. I'm talking about completely gutted, all of that, um, of our two bedroom, one bathroom townhome. Uh, this is a older home in the Southeast DC area that my fiance purchased before we started dating. Uh, and I have joined him in that space as we get ready to start our life. So, as I mentioned, we did a complete renovation. Uh, it took about seven or eight days. And we stayed in uh, Haymarket, Virginia during that time period. Uh, parents stay in that area. So, we were able to drive back and forth and check on the construction as it was happening. Um, so I would assume that you guys are interested in the cost and all that, and we're gonna get to that, but I'm going to start with the first mistake that we made during this process, and it was assuming that we knew everything that was included in the uh, materials cost. So as I mentioned, we wanted to get this bathroom redone. It was an older home, and the pipes were shot. We started realizing about May, of last year when we were working from home due to uh you know what um that our drains were starting to move really slow it was interesting because we're like why are they moving so slow this has never happened you know you use Drano work for a little bit and then it would stop and it would back you know back up again so for the about six or nine months we actually were operating with a bowl in our sink we had to wash our hands in the bowl and then dump the bowl in the toilet or dump the bowl in the shower um you know you got to do what you got to do and we made it work while we could save up and uh, figure out exactly what we wanted to do with the bathroom and how we wanted to handle this project so we had a company come out big company in the northern virginia dmv area uh, that we currently have a contract with for our hvac unit um, that we got replaced last year um, came out and did an estimate for the bathroom and told us thirty five thousand dollars we immediately said no <laughs> and uh, it, it just required too much so it was $35,000 for labor them to replace the drywall do the floors all that stuff but it did not include the cost of the aesthetics you know the vanity the tiling we still had to pay for those things it also included them ripping up our kitchen because they said that because we were in a townhouse and the kitchen and the bathroom were over one another that the pipes had to be going vertically down that side of the house so they were going ooh, excuse me they were going to tear out our cabinets rip out our dishwasher take out our washer and dryer all of these things and then promise that they would not be in working condition uh or prom could not promise excuse me that they would be in working condition after the end of the project so we immediately were like, no, this would end up costing us upwards of like forty dollars to $45,000. We're good. Um, so then we re-contacted uh, a contractor that had done an estimate for us last year before, you know what, um, came through. And he did an estimate for our bathroom, kitchen, and attic, three spaces that we wanted to get upgraded or updated um, in the coming years. But we, you know, took a back seat when everything happened and we were at home on quarantine. So we decided to go ahead and go forward with the second contractor because his estimate was $5,500 for labor. We had to pay for all of our materials costs, but um, that was already, you know, five times less than what the other person was telling us. And... Um, so we were very interested and he also had experience with our neighborhood so he knew that the pipes connected under the floorboards and then went through one solid pipe or one solid one pipe uh where the toilet was so all of your gray water and black water go out through that system 
so it was perfect we were like oh okay that's awesome you don't have to tear up our kitchen and, you know so we were very excited to move forward um with him and decided to go ahead and do what we needed to do so we um the noise is so loud i'm sorry but the lighting was just so good and i have forever in the car um so as i mentioned our first mistake was underestimating um or assuming the uh, materials cost so we did ask for a list from the contractor and of course he told us you know make sure you get your tiles your shower uh fixtures you know your vanity things like that you know we we knew those things but it was the things that we did not consider in our cost so labor was 5500 we decided to sit aside about 2500 to cover materials and um we kind of went through that pretty quickly because we didn't think about drywall subfloor concrete to put under the subfloor all the valves and connections and the pipes themselves the wood that you need while wood is very expensive at the moment um you know there were just a lot of things we did not consider we literally thought about the aesthetics of the bathroom and that was it and uh so i would make sure you get a full all-encompassing list of the materials if you opt for somebody where they charge you labor and you pay for everything else if you are going with a service where they do everything that's you know you don't have to worry about it but if you find somebody that is going to charge you labor and you uh you know choose to do everything else on your own so you have full creative control um i would make sure you get a full encompassing list of materials so that you can better prepare and that leads me to our mistake number two which was not having a contingency fund set aside um i will say that we were very blessed to be able to cover all of our costs so where we did not have to finance our bathroom it is completely paid for um but it does it did put us in a area where we have to kind of like pinch you know now especially with us planning for this wedding um and i wish that we would have been better prepared so as i mentioned you know we set aside twenty five hundred dollars the first day we had to buy all of the shower fixtures and whatnot which i will um make sure to link down below uh, if we still have those uh locations or the location where we brought them from i think it was amazon and ebay uh i will make sure to link that down below in the description but we bought all of that stuff so that was about three four hundred dollars and then he called us and spent six hundred dollars in Lowe's and then he called us like two minutes later and spent four hundred dollars somewhere else and I mean just like that fifteen hundred dollars is gone so you only have a thousand dollars left and you haven't even touched the tiling the floor the toilet the vanity you know and I had purchased some things on my own such as uh the shelf that goes over the, you know, the shelf that I put over the toilet uh the what else did I buy the light fixture uh it was just a couple of things that i had purchased that didn't even you know fit into that total that we uh came up with at the end so yeah make sure you have a contingency fund just be very 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 prepared um because things are going to happen things are going to cost more we decided to go with a smaller subway tile and because we chose to do that we needed a ton of grout grout is not expensive but when you mix you know adding extra grout you mix fixing the uh outlet covers and light switch covers you replace the ceiling fan or the vent fan you replace you know once you start adding all those things together it adds up considerably in a very very quick uh you know time period so make sure that you know what your materials list is and make sure you have a contingency third mistake would be that i did not prepare very well for uh, construction within our house i did not wrap anything in plastic i moved a lot of stuff yes but i did not uh cover things up and it was awful upon return there was dust everywhere i still find dust and i've dusted multiple times i'm talking with a swiffer with pledge with a mop i've swept i've done everything um i know some of it was probably in the hvac system as it was settling but i mean the dust was everywhere i washed every piece of linen i have vacuumed all of the rugs multiple times i some of them i just got rid of um we have swept multiple times like it y'all dust everywhere so make sure you are prepared 
also most people are going to have more than one bathroom like I said we did not so that required us staying in another place um, so make sure that you are able to access you know your home so you can check in with the contractors make sure everything is going smoothly make sure things are looking the way you want them to look while they are going through the project I think that was very very helpful for us we were able to keep our eye on everything and make changes as we needed to during the process so one more time, my three mistakes were uh, not getting an all-encompassing material list, not having contingency fund, and then not being prepared for construction. Uh, I only have one piece of advice uh, other than those mistakes that hopefully you guys can learn from. Um, I would say to look for deals. Uh, Solomon gave me pretty much full control of the decoration, the aesthetics of it. And I didn't want to do much. I just wanted our bathroom to look big. It was blue. It, there was a shelf over the toilet. There were two medicine cabinets that stuck out. There was a bath fitter. Every, it just felt cramped. So I wanted to go white, as bright as possible to make the space feel big. And I think that it worked out very well for us. I'm gonna you know, put another video right here so you guys can see. But it worked out very, very well for us. We thoroughly enjoy that bathroom, but I also, used all of the resources that I could find um, you know in all of the stores I did comparisons I, I purchased from Wayfair I purchased from Lowe's we went to Home Depot we bounced around and found things that worked for us and then we also looked specifically at sale items I went under the sale areas and found things that were you know highly rated but appropriately priced um, we do plan on using this home as a rental property in the future when we upgrade our home uh, or upgrade to a newer home, I should say. So it was very, very important to me that we found things that were durable, but affordable. So make sure that you are looking around for all of your options. Don't just go headstrong in one store. As I mentioned, we used Amazon, we used eBay. We had things coming from all over the place. So uh, yes, make sure to keep your options open and please learn from the mistakes that we made as I mentioned we were able to you know cover everything and there were no problems and like I said the contractor was an awesome awesome person uh, his team was great they uh, were very very helpful very nice and uh, we were not worried about the project whatsoever so that is the end of this video I am almost where I need to be so I am going to go ahead and end this here and you will see me in this outfit again in the vlog. Uh, and hopefully I'm able to get some footage there of some of the uh, things that I'm doing today for wedding planning. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please do so. Uh, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you check me out. Uh, and I will see you guys in my next video.